as we head closer to those afternoon hours, we are definitely starting off with mostly sunny skies. Here's a look right now from the NBC 23 Far Bureau seeing mostly sunny skies. So not really any traffic right there out on the expressway. Temperatures 84 in McAllen, 85 in Harlingen, Brownsville at 86 degrees. As we track the tropics, of course, we are in hurricane season. No activity is expected through the next seven days there. So very quiet conditions across the Atlantic Basin. However, this afternoon, we're going to see those rain chances ramp on up as we get closer towards the 1 o'clock, 2 p.m. hours. And we could see some of those isolated strong storms similar like we saw yesterday. And we could see some large hail with that once again. So once we get closer towards just after the 12 p.m. hour, you might want to stay weather aware and just stay one step ahead of the storm there and uh, make sure those app notifications are on for your cell phone. The Storm Prediction Center is keeping the entire Rio Grande Valley under a marginal risk for severe weather. Any storm that does flare up has the possibility of uh, large hail, damaging winds and that heavy rainfall, as well as some dangerous lightning. Right now, high resolution radar is showing some of that to activity just off offshore South Padre Island. Once we get closer towards the warmer parts of the day, we have that sea breeze frontal boundary that usually likes to make its way inland. That's going to carry that offshore activity into our coastal area. So we could see another round of those strong storms flare up around the 2 o'clock, 3 p.m. hours there, uh, affecting mainly the lower valley, but we can't roll out another strong storm to make its way into McAllen, the upper valley later on today. So uh, definitely expecting those conditions to remain mostly a bit on the uh, more active side as we head into this afternoon there. So as we get closer towards uh, 6 o'clock, 7 p.m. hours, we will see mostly calm conditions, but we could still very well see some of that storm flaring up in the upper valley. We're having these disturbances that are moving across the state of Texas and ultimately moving into the valley as we go into the next few hours there. So there's a little bit of a disturbance right here across uh, near Corpus Christi. You're able to see just a little bit of a subtle spin there as we go into the next few hours. So the next seven days, looking sunny and hot highs in the 90s lows in the 70s. We're going to still have that rain potential for tomorrow, but once we get closer towards Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will see those temps warm up into the upper 90s and it's going to feel much like summer with that heat index or feels like temps feeling about 100 degrees there exceeding 100 for our western area. So mostly sunny skies for the end of the work week. So you might want to be in the pool or along the coast on South Padre Island for the end of the week as those rain chances will be diminishing. For your seven day forecast, expect those temps to continue being warm and humid through the next few days. We're going to keep that rain chance for tomorrow. Those storms flaring up for today, so make sure those apps uh, notifications are on with highs in the 90s. We will be about 96, 97 degrees, close to 100 degrees as we get closer towards the next few days towards the end of the week and overnight lows remaining in the 70s through the next seven days.